Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Beta channel, which is the build 22631.2129. This build from the Beta channel has a lot of new features that are coming from the Dev channel as well, and a lot of improvements and fixes for existing features and known issues from the previous builds. So in this video, we're going to talk about all that, and I'm going to show you what is new in this latest build for the Beta channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all of course don't forget to check out the article below if you want to find out more info about why there are two different builds that are releasing every time to the beta channel and also an important notice is that if you are a new windows insider joining the beta channel today you will not be offered this update to prevent the possibility of your device getting into a bad state and also a very small subset of existing windows insiders may also not receive this update for the same reason so Microsoft is stating that this issue will be fixed in a newer better channel update. Of course, if you are enrolled in the better channel to update to this build, all you need to do is to go to Windows Update and check for updates. In this case, I got the update, fortunately, but if you are among those that don't receive it, stay patient because it's for the better. Because as I've said in previous videos with the better channel, Microsoft is starting to implement and bring Windows 11 23H2 features from the dev channel to the better channel. So now let's talk about what is new in this build. First of all, Microsoft Microsoft is implementing the Windows Copilot, which now should work pretty good. It basically has all the features that you can get on the dev channel. There are very few things that are not implemented from the dev channel related to Windows Copilot, but in other words, you can use it on the better channel and um, you can see what it's like to have a personal AI assistant in your Windows operating system. Microsoft is also introducing DevDrive inside the better channel and this is basically a new form of storage volume available to improve performance for key developer workloads and you can set up that from system storage disks and volumes and you have here create a DevDrive optimized performance for developer scenarios. So if you're a developer, you can use it now on the better channel. There are also improvements related to the Narrator app which enhances the interaction with Microsoft Excel, new text authoring experiences and voice access, and also voice access is now available to use on more areas in Windows, such as the Windows lock screen, which I think is pretty good. Microsoft is also introducing the passwordless experience with Windows Hello for Business. More info about this in the article below in the video's description. And also the screencasting experience is improved in this build, and basically the improvements include when doing multitasking activities on your PC, such as often switching between Windows to complete a task or using Snap Assist to organize your screen space, Microsoft will provide the suggestion to cast via notification toast, and they will also now provide an inline setup of a PC from within the cast flyout and quick settings with step-by-step -step guidance for users to enable. We're also getting present sensing improvements with a new adaptive dimming setting that will allow your screen to intelligently dim when you look away and undim when you look back. I think this is pretty interesting. And also present sensing is now available inside the OOB section of the Windows Windows 11 installation. Regarding the start menu, Microsoft is introducing these new thumbnails for recommended files inside start and also for cloud files. Microsoft also stated that in the near future, you will be able to see a preview of the file and this large empty space that you can see right here won't be unused and I think that is pretty nice. Regarding the taskbar and system tray, notifications will now show as a bell in the system tray and when new notifications come through, the bell will colorize based on your system accent color. When there are no notifications in the clock is visible, the bell will be empty. Notification counts are no longer shown. Also, the updated API for pinning, as mentioned in a previous blog post from Microsoft, are now included in this build for a preview. You're going to see a screenshot of how that looks. We also have the never combined taskbar icons and labels inside this build, but this has to be enabled manually because Microsoft has temporarily removed the settings for this because there are a few issues with it. But if you want me to make a different video in which I'll show how to manually enable it, I can do that. But we've talked about those settings before. Basically, you right click on the taskbar, click on taskbar settings, go to taskbar behaviors, and here you'll notice all the new settings, combine taskbar buttons and hide labels, and select never and show labels on taskbar app icons. Basically, you'll have this on the better channel. Microsoft also updated the task manager settings page. 
and you have it here with the dark mode. As you can see, it matches the design principles of Windows 11. The design has a similar look and feel to the settings in Windows 11 and provides a cleaner UI separating categories into different sections. And this will be also be brought up into the dev channel pretty soon. I think that is very, very nice. Microsoft is also improving the user experience when changing time zones, including cases of low confidence in location data. It displays a non-dismissible notification for accepting or rejecting the change and prompts the user for confirmation before adjusting the time zone. And Microsoft is also improving the user experience when changing the time zone via settings, time and language, and date and time. If location settings are disabled, a warning is now shown to the user, urging them to enable location settings to ensure accurate time zone adjustments. This warning provides helpful information to the user, helping them understand why their time zone may not be correct and guiding them towards resolving the issue. And these are basically all the new features from the beta channel. As you can see, the beta channel is getting a lot of new features, so I'm very glad about that. Now, let's talk about the fixes that you can encounter in this latest build for the beta channel. First of all, regarding the file explorer, the keyboard shortcuts to set focus to the search box, control F, control E or F3 should work now. They also fix an issue where the drop down in the address bar could appear totally blank. Regarding taskbar and system tray, Microsoft fixed an issue that was causing quick settings to not open when selecting the network volume and battery icons in the system tray. And they also fixed a few issues causing explorer.exe crashes and leading to taskbar reliability issues. Related to notifications, they fixed an issue causing consumers to unexpectedly see a notification suggesting you to turn off notifications for an app named Notify Icon Generated AU Mid. Regarding input, they fixed a high heading CTF Oman.exe crash in the last two flights, which could impact the ability to type. Regarding task view and desktops, they adjusted the desktop switching animation to ease into the animation a little more. And finally, related to the task manager, they fixed an issue where some of the app icons in the startup apps section of the task manager were very tiny. They fixed an issue where the selection color wasn't displaying correctly if you were using a contrast theme. They also fixed an issue where focus wasn't getting set correctly to search if task manager window was small enough that search was collapsed to an icon. And they also fixed alignment of task manager icon and name in the title bar. There are also a few known issues in this build, but you can check that out in the article below in the video description where you'll also have the official Microsoft blog post. So of course, I'm waiting for your opinion on this latest beta channel build in the Windows Insider program. And of course, don't forget to leave a like below and subscribe to the TechBase channel if you enjoyed this video. I'm Zimani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.